Hey, this is Emilio from Digital Bike Computing. Today, we're gonna to go through the steps on how to download and install the Mac OS Big Sur Beta. This is the public beta that is now available for Big Sur. We're gonna show you how to go and download it, where to find it, and how to install it onto your Mac. But before we do that, please remember to always subscribe, clicking on the button and on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. Let's go through the steps right now. All right, so we have got a Mac. We are running Mac OS Catalina. You could be running a beta of Catalina or the full-fledged version of Catalina, but we now wanna get ourselves the beta, the beta of Mac OS Big Sur. This is Apple's new operating system, which is packed full of new features and is one of the largest releases that Apple has released in a very, very long time in the Mac operating system range. So just remembering that the beta of this operating system is in a beta form. So it's not the final release. So there is a possibility that there are still bugs uh, and the final release could be slightly different. It may look slightly different. Maybe they'll change something or fix something. So just be aware of that. But overall, the beta has passed the all these other tests before it. So you are getting a fully working functioning operating system in the beta form. Let's cross over to my computer right now and go through that. So logged into our browser. Uh, we are on our Mac. We are running Catalina. Now the very first thing you need to do is you need to register with Apple's beta software program. So what you need to do is open up your web browser and navigate to uh, beta, beta .apple com. It'll then redirect you to this page right here, which is the software program. And then what you need to do is you need to sign up and essentially let Apple know that you are interested in being essentially a, uh, a tester of their, uh, their beta software. So you're gonna sign up and then you've got, uh, you know, releases essentially for iOS 14, for iPadOS, and what we're interested in, in Mac OS Big Sur, along with tvOS and the watchOS. So you can actually have access to all of these, all of these betas um, before the full release is out, uh, which is actually quite cool. And um, look, I've been using the betas for a very, very long time. And yes, sometimes they are a little bit buggy, but overall they work really, really well and have most of the functionality uh, that you'll find in the in the end in the last final release, really. So from here, let's just go ahead and sign up. If you've done this previously, if you've already you know registered with the Apple Beta Software Program, you can just sign in. So you will need to have an Apple ID to be able to do this. We're assuming that you do, given that you are on a Mac, you've probably already registered an Apple ID. So log in with your Apple ID and essentially that Apple ID will be associated with the software program. Now from here, now that you have uh, essentially registered with the software program, you need to now enroll your device. So essentially saying that your Mac, whatever you've got a MacBook Pro, you've got a Mac Pro, you've got an iMac, you've got a Mac Mini, uh, either of these you need to essentially let Apple know that you want to have your device be enrolled with their program to be able to allow the public betas to be downloaded. So up the top here, I've got enroll your devices. And then the very first recommendation that it does give you is to back up your Mac. It's always important to back up, to have your, your Mac backed up really all the time anyway, but especially because we're gonna be installing a beta, which is uh, potentially in, in a testing phase. Well, it is in, it's in a beta, it's not in a final release yet. There could be bugs, etc. And Apple just wants to make sure that your data is backed up just in case something goes wrong. So go ahead and back up your Mac first. Uh, the recommendation, of course, is Time Machine, or you can actually back it up manually over a uh, onto a USB drive as well. The next step is to then go and enroll your Mac. So once it's backed up, you now download the Mac OS Public Beta Access Utility. Essentially, it's an application that will be downloaded, a DMG file that will that will install, and then the software update on your Mac allows you to be able to navigate or search the Apple's repository of beta releases for Mac OS. I just started downloading it here on my left. Yours has probably gone into your downloads folder or your desktop, or you can just click on it right here in your browser. So that has mounted it. 
and now I double click and install. Now it may give you a warning like it does here that you don't have a time machine backup detected because of course it's now saying, hey, are you sure you want to do this uh, without having a time machine backup? I have separate backups running over to a NAS uh, network storage that I've got. So that's fine, I'm not using time machine, but make sure you back up uh, if you don't um, have it backed up already. We then select continue, we continue. You agree, of course, only if you do agree. We're gonna leave the rest as the defaults and throw in my password, and then the software will install, and it's completed right now. So once installed, the software update should open up automatically, and it should show you here that Big Sur Beta 11 is ready to be downloaded. If this does not show up, the other option is for you to actually, I can just say not now, is open up your system preferences as you would normally. So in the um, Apple menu, going into system preferences and then selecting software update, you can search and scan for it right from here. And you'll see that it has shown up here, Big Sur Beta 11. So we can now select upgrade now. So it's gonna go ahead and download that software. It is 12.3 gig, which is quite a big installer. So we'll just let this do its thing and we'll check back once it is done. So installation is now ready to go uh, now that it is downloaded. Now in our finder, if you need it under applications, you have it right there, install Mac OS Big Sur. If you do want to keep that, uh, that beta installer for a future purpose, you can copy and paste it because then once you install it, that will disappear. So now that Big Sur is ready to go, uh, we can click on continue. Of course, we are running Catalina, so it's gonna upgrade it to the Big Sur beta. Uh, we look at the terms and conditions, and if you're happy with that, uh, we can click on agree. Here is the hard drive that is going to be installed. Of course, you have to have sufficient space on your hard drive as well and continue. It's gonna ask you for your password and then the installation will begin. So it will take a fair bit of time to do this initial installation. Your Mac will then restart. You'll have a few reboots. So that'll take a bit of time, let it do its thing and we'll check back once it's ready. Installation is now complete. We have now got Big Sur Beta running. It looks really, really cool. Brand new icons, brand new finder. Everything looks great. So you can go ahead, play around with it in a fully operating version of Big Sur. So there you have it. That was the steps. Hopefully you were able to go and download Big Sur, the beta, but that is it for now. I would love it if you commented below, like this video, but most importantly, subscribe to Digital Bike Computing by clicking on the button and on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.